What, what is, is up, up guys, guys? R&B here. here. So today it's the big day. Um, we're going to finally, as you can see in the title, we're going to climb Mount Fuji, at least attempt to climb Mount Fuji. What we're going to do now is we're going to catch the bus that will take us directly to the fifth station. That's where we are going to start um, climbing. We are a little bit late, that's why we're just doing here at Shinjuku Station already our intro to this video. Um, but we hope you guys enjoy. This is a big, big thing for us. This is the secret that we've been keeping um, from you guys. And Let's see if we can do it. here on the fifth station as you might hear there's a lot of wind hopefully you can hear us properly so we're about to start our ascent um, we came with like I don't know maybe two hours of spare time which is awesome so we came on the bus that left Shinjuku at 9.05 a.m. so we have plenty of time to go up hopefully we will not get lost um, we have a lot of people over here actually I thought because the weather is not that good I thought uh, we wouldn't have that many people around but there are so we are going to start by having some lunch and then we're going to start ready to go Yanka is still very fresh. <laughs> well, I'm not. As you guys can see, today is not the prettiest day. Actually, we can not see anything. The floor is pretty much volcanic uh, rock already. Uh, and there's a lot of mist um, around and fog. So hopefully I can see Ricardo until we get to the top. So far so good, we're about 15 minutes in. So that's actually pretty good. Let me just tell you guys, I think we're going to do this pretty easily, aren't we? Sure. Even without sleeping, because our intentions are as soon as we get to the 8th station, which is the last one before the top, uh, we are going to stay there until about 1 or 2 p.m. and then we're going to start uh, a.m. sorry 1 or 2 a.m. and then we're going to start our ascent to the summit so that's what we're going to do um, now it's the time that we're going to choose the trail actually we chose Yoshida trail to go up and as you can see here we need to follow the um, yellow line pretty much so to go to the summit we need to go i'm not sure if it's focusing but to go to the summit we need to go all the way from here so uh, let's go <laughs> guys huh? the soil 
is way more slippery than I thought. So now I understand why they use the poles and the sticks to help them. It's very slippery. Look at this guys. Oh, we have some horses coming down. Oh my god, that's so cool. Whoa. So cool. And they're so close. Look at this. I'm not even sure if I'm actually filming them properly. Oh, they're slipping as well. They are awesome. They were, I would say, dangerously close to us. What do you think, Ricardo? That was pretty close, I would say. Yeah. Probably. Well, they were slipping all over the place. Too. Yeah, probably closer than we believe it's safe and that we would want them as close. Can you believe this? This is exactly where we're going. Look at that. So we still need to go all the way up there. Guys, as you can see behind me, they're still doing like work around the trails. I believe it's to make it easier for the people that are climbing, but at the same time, I believe it, it is to contain the rocks that are always constantly falling off. So as you can see, they're working to keep the trail um, in good condition, I would say, for us to climb. I believe we're now arriving at the sixth station. Um, this last little bit had a lot of rocks. I'll show you if I can from the top, but as you can see here, now we have some rocky stairs along the way, but we finally did it. Okay guys, so we thought we were on the sixth station, but apparently we are already on the seventh station. So now we're heading up to the eighth station. Uh, we did the first two stations in one hour and five minutes, which is pretty fast I would say, because they say that you take 60 minutes to, from the sixth station to the seventh station. Mm -hmm. So now, we're going to tackle a uh, pretty steep um, hill over here and it's pretty rocky so I'm not going to film because I'm pretty sure you don't want to see any disaster happening so we'll film up there guys so we'll see you in a, a little bit okay guys time to hydrate um, make sure that we keep our energy up and uh, we're going to probably rest for a little bit uh, we're just on one of the huts we just passed the seven stations and as i said uh, down there and now we are going to maybe rest for 10 to 15 minutes and then we'll keep going yep seven kilometers from the summit and this was the hardest climb and incline that we had to do. We're now at the eighth station and this is a 3,100 meters height. As you can see we are pretty high above the clouds. As you can see guys, this is a pretty hardcore trail to climb. The temperature has dropped a lot. You can see by Ricardo's um, clothes. So he has his puffy jacket on. Uh, he already has, it's not like a scarf or anything like that, but something to protect the neck. So he's pretty cold. I think we can say that 
um, from I don't know maybe the beginning of the eighth station the temperature has dropped maybe almost 10 degrees yeah. so I can almost say a hundred percent right now that it's maybe maximum of I don't know 14 degrees or something like that um, it shouldn't be uh, much higher than that I believe we are about to arrive the second to last uh, hut from the eighth station which means that ninth station is the last one guys um, and we are at this point at sorry about the wind so windy guys but we're now at 3250 meters height and look at this view guys So guys, Ricardo and I, we were going to stay outside um, the whole time. Actually, we were going to stay the night on the outside. And we are here at one of the huts, but it's so cold um, that we decided to pay and stay inside with a warm meal. So I think it's the best choice and the smartest choice to do. So um, we'll show you inside. Okay, guys. So... Um, we are now inside just by the way never prepare your trip to Mount Fuji by watching YouTube videos <laughs> that's exactly what we've done so um, what we did was we saw um, I think it was Chris abroad and uh, what happened was they just spent the night outside and we thought we could do the same so we didn't want to spend the money and stay in one of the huts but yeah it is really really cold and very windy so if you're coming to mount fuji please book one of the huts so one of the staff was very kind and they actually opened the window and asked us if we wanted to stay with dinner and breakfast which was amazing I'll do a very quick tour of our little nook over here because it's almost as if we were in a, I don't know, capsule cap hotel or something mm -hmm. like that. So I'll do that in a little bit and I'll show you the dinner as well. So there's like a common area and there's a little space that you have that you can sleep. That's where we're at at the moment, but never never plan your trip by watching YouTube videos, guys. Okay, so we'll see you in a bit. Um, hey guys, just a quick tour of our um, little capsule hotel type of thing. Um, shed, how do we call it? We have some curtains over here for some privacy. We have one here, one there. Guys, look at details. We have a mirror over there, which would be awesome at 2 a.m. when we have to wake up to leave. We have Ricardo, which is not part of the furniture. Oh. But we have two beds over here, which is um, pretty cozy, I would say. So we have some like a blanket type of thing with a futon underneath. We also have a duvet over here. And we have something on top which are like some sheets i would say that you can use to put on top of the duvet or if you don't want to put your face directly on the pillow that ricardo is just showing it right now um so yeah that's our little space we have some lights guys it's at the moment 8 p.m we need we need to be quiet because there's um, a lot of people here that probably are already um, sleeping so we need to be out of here by around 2 a.m. to be at the summit by 4 ish to see if we can see the sunset um, so they have as forecast clouds um, so I'm not quite sure if we will be lucky hopefully we are so we are going to turn off the lights get some sleep and tomorrow morning We'll catch up with you guys. So, good night, guys. Good morning, guys. Um, it's 3 a.m. 
uh, we are about to go and climb the rest of the way to the summit of Mount Fuji. It is very windy and raining and I'm not sure how much we will film from this camera because it's not waterproof. So yeah, um, hopefully we can film something at the top but we will definitely not film the way up because we don't want to fall. So we'll see you up there guys, hopefully. moment uh, so we cannot see anything it's just mist and it's very hard to follow the path and find the ropes uh, that can guide us well as you can see by our faces we're not happy we're cold Ricardo just lost his um, hat <laughs> Uh, the wind is so strong that the hat was pretty much blown away uh, and because we cannot see, it is impossible to find it. We were about to go to the summit, but we had to come back down to one of the huts. Uh, we almost got lost um, because you cannot see anything, anything in front of you. Even with the um, headlights, we cannot see. So what we've done is we are here at one of the huts drinking some hot chocolate um, and we're waiting pretty much for the sunrise that we're sure that we won't be able to see and we have until 5.20 a.m. Um, to be here at this hut and then we need to leave. Um, we really wanted to see the sunrise but the conditions are so bad that we're not hoping to see anything um, at this point. So if we don't film anything, um, it's because we really couldn't. I had to put the camera away. It was getting all wet. So there's no point in damaging the equipment um, because of the weather. It's really dangerous to keep everything out. So we'll keep you guys posted. But um, probably when we get back down a few, and when I mean a few, it's a few uh, meters. <laughs> so yeah, that's it, guys. Okay guys, so, uh, this is what happened, we got to the summit, we really wanted to see like the middle of the volcano, but it is impossible, as you can see, we cannot see anything, we can barely see each other, <laughs> as you can see Ricardo is there with a headlight, let's just say that this experience was quite an experience, um, in all of the, I don't know, the YouTube videos that I saw, and some of them said that it's complete hell. Um, it is, guys. So really choose carefully the day that you come. Make sure you have clear weather because otherwise um, there's no point. There's no uh, sunrise, there's no sunset that you can see. And we just started our descent because we couldn't stay there um, longer. Sunrise, guys. We have it here, we're not at the summit, but as you can see, still with the mist, but we saw a little bit of a sunrise. Okay guys, we're back from Mount Fuji. Um, as you can see, we were able to change and wash our faces at least. We're just here to end up this video. We really hope you enjoyed. It was a really fun adventure. Even though at the top it was total hell guys. Really bad. Um, <laughs> really, really, really bad. So what you can see now... We had like, a, imagine a cloud just going around the top of Mount Fuji and that was like pretty much rain and mist and um, wind. Because of the weather we didn't see the crater and that was probably one of the things that I really wanted to see. That, that was probably the top one, the must um, see thing over there so we couldn't see anything. Um, we are very tired. Uh, hopefully I will have time to edit this video. So if you're seeing this video, it's because I had time to do that. Um, so yeah, but if you are in Japan, 
this should be in your bucket list guys this is something that you should be prepared um, yeah. for 100 percent and when we went to mount takao that i said that we were preparing to do something like this so this um no the mount takao 599 meters height does not prepare you to do this so um yeah that's it guys so we hope you enjoyed the video as much as we enjoyed doing it and we're going to rest for the rest of the week i would say so as always leave it a thumbs up if you like the video subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell to get a notification when we put out new videos see you next time guys yeah.